Hey everyone, uh, welcome back to my channel. It's been a hot minute. Um, I haven't had anything new come in in a while, but very exciting today to have a new um, unboxing video. So welcome back to my page. I'm Timothy. This is Curiously Collectible, where I take some time to show you some of my favorite things that I collect and um, love and enjoy. So, so far it's just been dolls, but maybe I'll branch out um, into other things. Anyways, let's just dive right into this. We have Alice here. She's a doll more illusion size doll. Um, the Alice sculpt, she's um, I think one of my most recent dolls. And the doll I'll be opening today is also a doll more illusion size doll. So I thought, who better to help me out than Alice? We love Alice. I made her a cute little skirt. Um, I just started kind of getting back into sewing. I'm not very good at it yet, but I made these little tights for her. Um, the shirt is from Dalmore. So um, I might do some sewing tutorials and things like that once I become better at that. But um, anyways, here is the box. I have not opened it yet. Um, it came today. It shipped really quickly. It just took a couple of days. Um, and this is a illusion sized uh, Dell sculpt, D-E-L-L. Um, I do need to come up with a name for this doll. I don't love that name of the sculpt and I think like I've said in other videos I like to keep the name of the doll sculpt um, Or some iteration of it or some version of it, um, but with this one. I'm not digging it um, So if you have any suggestions feel free comment below Oh, make sure you follow me on um, Instagram curiously collectible um, a lot more um, pictures and things of my dolls. At the end of this video, you'll see some pictures of her dressed and looking hopefully beautiful. We, we will see. Um, Dalmore doesn't allow you to really change anything about their dolls, but I did alter, they, were, they let me do a couple little alterations to her. So this doll would have came with white eyelashes. I don't like white eyelashes. So I, I asked for black eyelashes. And then her lips were matte, which are pretty, but I always like a glossy lip. So. Yeah, and I think, I believe this the sculpt of this style is, is dark light. I Don't quote me on that. I couldn't look at the website and find out. They took down all the dolls that have sold out. They just revamped their website. I'm not a fan. Normally I love change. I think anytime something changes, it's for the better. There's, this site just needs a little work. Um, hopefully they're trying to figure that out and it'll be back up to kind of how it was before. But I, so I couldn't look. So we will see her um, cert certificate of authentic authentication, or oh, I can't say it, but um, uh, we'll look at that and it should have her sculpt on there. So let's just dive right in. I'm, I've been waiting for this all for a while. I got her on 12 um, month layaway. I did pay her off um, in about half the time, which was nice and they let you do that, which is great. Um, and like I said, she ships really fast. She comes from South Korea and um, they also shipped me a doll stand. They didn't put it in this package. Um, so that came actually on Friday, which was weird. I was hoping that she would come on Friday, but she did not. Um, and then I also, I did order like some other things. Um, I'm not sure if they're in this package. I know they said that there was other things in this. Um, delivery like three orders but on the new site you can't look and see what your old orders were anymore so i have really this is gonna be a total mystery i don't know what's in here anyways pull this out of the box these dolls that now all the illusion dolls come in these fabulous totes so that's super exciting before you had to like buy these now i mean the dolls are more expensive now but they put them into the you just don't need to worry about when they're shipping or anything like that so they come in this beautiful tote you want to bring them around or store them or whatever you plan to do um, with the Dalmore written right here. Um, it's that brown color. That's the um, the only color tote I've gotten so far. They are they do make a pink like leather one I kind of want, um, but I don't bring my dolls anywhere, so I don't know. But they are great for storing and for um, the shipping methods too. So we'll wait to open the doll. Like I don't want to look at the doll. Last time I saw when I opened a package, I saw Alice like right away, and I was like, oh no. Um, but yeah, so we'll kind of pull through, um, some of the things I ordered first and see what we got. Oh, okay. So already I'm very excited because I'm seeing this outfit that I ordered just like a month or so ago. It, it did come and I thought that might be in here. Um, so I'm really excited about that because I love this, this outfit for my doll. Um, but first the wig, this is a new wig. It is, where's the name? 
KSK Long Wig. I don't know, that's the name of it. It's like a purpley color, it's very pretty. Um, purple and brown, um, like kind of purple highlights. It's very cool. It looks a lot different on the site, so I'm actually quite impressed. Um, I'm seeing spots right now because I just looked into my ring light, so I'm blinded. But this is this doesn't have bangs either. I don't, I'm not a big fan of bangs. I guess there's kind of like some shorter layers in this, but it's really pretty. I guess it's kind of reading a little bit more brown um, on the camera, but it's quite purple. It's very cool. Obsessed. Obsessed with that. What do you think, Alice? She's a fan. Um, we are going to do a doll stand video um, on how to get these dolls into a stand. It can be a little daunting, but um, here is the new this outfit. I'm totally obsessed with this. It's the Lucian doll Hope with Feathers um, for a Dahlia sculpt, um, but they released some of these so you can get them. Um, you'll see this in pictures. I'm not going to take it out yet. Um, oh, I ordered a little Lucian, this shirt in black. So that is here. Um, I guess we can open it. It's called Lucian Size Sugar Candy Tea in black. I don't like dressing my dolls in black things because I'm always nervous that they're going to stain. But um, for certain pictures and things like that, I need more options, right? And I can also use this size as um, a way to like kind of carve out a a pattern for a sewing project or something. So it's useful. Oh, this is a small wig, an eight, nine size wig I got for um, some of my SD size dolls. Um, it's like a peachy pink. Very, very pretty. I wish they would do this for the Lucian size. So pretty. They have other ones like that though. Oh, I got this um, kind of ballerina, Lucian ballerina outfit. So cute. Comes with the little underwears. So cute. There are tights. Um, there is the pretty skirt. Kind of like a little ballerina tulle skirt. I love all this stuff. Anything with tulle. Oh, so this is the top skirt and this is the bottom of the skirt. And then this little corset, which I really wanted this because I'm gonna try to make um, the Lucian dolls some corsets and I thought this would be a good guide to kind of get their measurements. I'm just looking at how it goes on. It looks nice. Okay, so let's put this stuff aside. Very excited about that. Love options. We love a good option. I got this Lucian basic underneath clothes set. Um, I thought this would be cute for like under dresses and things that I make. Um, if, you know, sewing is difficult and if you like me, if you're learning how to do it, adding linings and things like that can be an, an extra step that is, it's difficult. So I thought that this would be good to go underneath things. It's kind of like an off-white with a bright white trim. It's actually the same trim that's on here. Um, so like even if she wore this little shirt and you could pop this over it and put on these little bloomers, it would be so cute. So I like all these little separates for things. Um, oh, this is the outfit that comes with this sculpt. So we're gonna just leave that right in front. We're not gonna open that yet. These are the shoes, <clears throat> little black shoes. We're gonna leave those as well. I don't wanna open them yet. Oop, I just saw her face, sort of, not really. Okay, here's another long wig for the Lucian and the Trinity dolls. As you guys know, I have three Trinity dolls. This is my second Lucian doll and I have a third one on the way. And then I have um, two Makashuras. Um, those are the baby dolls and you can find them in my other reviews. So this is fabulous, I just forgot to look at the name. KSK, long brown, um, same style as the other one. This is a new uh, wig that they're offering. Very exciting. Um, oh, I ordered a doll stand uh, for one of my Makashuras. And then I just don't wanna look at her yet. What's in here? Normally I get free gifts. I don't see any free gifts yet. That's okay. Um, this is a curtain long wig in blue. I've been wanting this for a while. Um, I think Kaya is gonna look really good in blue hair, so that's why I got this. But it's nice and long, really pretty. It's got bangs, which I hate, but a lot of their wings ha wigs have bangs. Okay. And then this is the wig that comes with this sculpt. 
It's a Haley curl wig in uh, VL gray, which is, I think, very light gray. And I already own this wig. Of course I do, right? I ordered some extra eyes because I'm going to switch her eyes out. Um, so this doll came with like dreaming eyes. So I wrote the company, asked them if they would make her with her open eyes and they agreed to it. And then they added it as an option on the site and then she sold out right away. Thank God I got one. Um, but the, the doll, the pictures on the site were different eyes. They were smaller, obviously, cause the eyes were like almost closed. Um, so they didn't have that size for the open size. So I had to like pick a different size. So I picked like, um, a gray acrylic that they put in, but then I wanted her to have purple eyes. So I ordered a light purple and like a more plummy purple. So excited about these. If they don't work with this doll, I'm going to um, put them in my Makashura doll. Um, the one that's like kind of white skinned and she's cute. Okay, so I don't see any free gifts, which is kind of a bummer. I always love their free gifts. I think they're so great. They always like, even if they're just the littlest thing. So I guess this time I didn't get one, but that's okay. The economy's tight. Times are tough, but um, anyways, yeah, let's just prop her up here and look at her together, okay? <sighs> As we all do when we're doing this, we're just like praying, praying, it's gonna be perfect. I think she's gonna be perfect. Okay. Oh yeah, I am so glad that I got the black eyelashes. I'm obsessed. She does have painted on little white eyelashes on the bottom, but I thought that was pretty, as kind of like a highlight. Um, Oh, she's fabulous. She's so fabulous. And then the lip is perfect. Look at that. She's so cool. She's a little bit of like a spooky looking doll. I think she looks a little bit kind of sad and spooky and I love that. That's my favorite kind of doll. This is amazing. Her sculpt is stunning. Um, I don't own a doll, obviously. This is my first. So she's really, really freaking pretty. Um, and then I, I did um, get her hands manicured as always. You pay a little bit more for that, but I think it's totally worth it. Um, and it seems like her feet and her hands are on. I can't remember if my other Lucian came like that. I'd have to rewatch the video. Um, so yeah, I just I just don't remember that part. Um, let's pull off her face cap. This is so exciting. And we'll get rid of these little things. And then I'll prop her up closer to you so you can see her. She's so pretty. Oh yeah. She's very cool. She has like a little bit of like a dark circle, which I love. Um, and so her lips are not like glossy, glossy. I asked for them to be satin finished and this is how they finished them. They're perfect. Um, but because of the language differences, I was confused if they were gonna come super glossy or if they were going to come like satin like this. I just. There was like a little bit of a misinterpretation um, and I wasn't positive. They said, yes, we'll do them glossy. And I asked for them satin. So I just, I, I was I was a little nervous, but I, I figured if they came glossy, it would be fine. Most of my dolls have glossy lips. So um, they're actually literally perfect. Um, and then I, I got her ears pierced as well. She's amazing. She's actually perfect. And I'm like so happy with her. So this is so exciting. Let's pull off some of this more packaging material and then we'll get a good look at our hands and see her, um, how her hands are painted. She's so pretty. Okay. My Lucian Alice over here, she's already become very, very loose, um, her stringing. So I need to restring her, and I'm that's like I've never restrung a doll before. I have a lot of dolls, but I just have never had to restring one before. Um, so I'm kind of petrified about that. Hands are perfect. Literally, look at that. So cute. Look at her face. They do such a good job with these dolls. Um, yeah, oh, I'm out of breath now because I just picked her up. Make sure there's nothing else in here. No free gifts. I'm a little bummed about that. It's usually like a little something that's so silly anyways. Um, but it's always like, I don't know, it's so fun to get 
something unexpected, but maybe they stopped doing that. Um, I know like some of their prices have changed and things like that. It seems like their dolls are popular. Um, obviously not a lot of people um, get these huge dolls, you know, they're a big investment money-wise and also for your, your space, they take up a lot of room. Um, I don't know why I have so many, but this is where we are. Um, but I do think I'm gonna stop buying the big dolls. Um, three, I have three Trinity. Um, this is my second Lucian, but I'll have three because I have the other one on order. And then I just want three Makashira. I have two right now. So I think I'm gonna get one more of them. And then I think I'm done. I, I'm creating like three little separate families of the dolls and it'll make sense when they're all finished, I think. Who knows? Um, but yeah, like I'm just looking at her now, making sure there's no um, issues. There's one little thing on her makeup under her eye where it's almost like it's, I don't know how to explain it. Like a little bit of the blushing of the shadow kind of messed up or something. I don't think it's enough to like be distraught about, but it's just one little weird spot. I kind of noticed it right away. Um, you probably saw me like kind of lose my, what I was saying, um, cause I slightly panicked. Um, but I'm sure it's fine. It just looks like, you know, nobody's perfect. And so when a doll isn't perfect, um, it just adds to their believability or that's what I'm going to tell myself because, um, there is a little spot there and it's bugging me, but it'll be okay. As you can see, I'm a crazy perfectionist. So I'm going to, um, she looks great. Um, I have to pull her stuff off of her feet and everything. Um, but stick around. I'm going to take some pictures, um, get her in her, her full set, and then you'll see her all put together. And I'll try to take a close-up picture of the makeup to see if anyone else notices that. Maybe I won't point it out. But, um, yeah, so stick around. Um, make sure to like, subscribe, comment. I always love the comments. I promise more videos are coming. I've been really busy and, um, yeah, things are, things are happening. So, um, <laughs> Um, yeah, so, and then make sure to follow me on Instagram. It's Curiously Collectible. Um, and until next time, stick around, guys.